The path in relation to behavioral health began in the 1990s when Dr. Terry Stanson joined Metro Health. And it was a path that was associated with innovation in relation to behavioral health care and really addressing the acute needs, the early needs in relation to stress and trauma in pediatric populations. And in 2018, we asked some outside uh, consultants to give us a sense of what the access was for behavioral health inpatient beds within Northeast Ohio. And that was the staging point where the system said, this is what our community needs, this is how overall we're going to ensure that, that all of us grow healthier and become well as a, as a community. We have this beautiful new building, and psych patients rarely get the best of the best. And it's about time that a patient get a bed that nobody else has ever slept in, a new chair, new furniture, new games, new books, new televisions, and that's just the shell of the building. We have lots of programming. We have different units to serve different members of the community better. We're better able now to meet the needs of our geriatric population, our adolescent population, people who have substance use disorders. We can really treat anyone here. As a trainee at Metro Health, you get to rotate in a state-of-the-art new 112-bed behavioral health hospital. Um, you rotate in different subspecialty units, which includes mood unit, thought unit, psych med unit, a psych ICU, eventually an adolescent unit, a geriatric unit, and a dual diagnosis unit. Um, apart from that, you really get strong experiences in our consult and psych ED services as Metro is a level one trauma center. Our residents also get lots of amazing rotations in the outpatient year where they work in interdisciplinary teams as well. I think one of the most important things to know about Metro Health is its true commitment to the community. The Board of Trustees, the administration, made a major commitment to behavioral health here three years ago when they decided to build this wonderful behavioral health hospital we have in Cleveland Heights. In a time when other hospitals are walking away from behavioral health patients, Metro Health leaned in heavily to build this facility and to provide more services to our patients out in the community. Cleveland and Cuyahoga County is an extremely diverse region. We have African American, Latin, and many different groups of immigrants. So Metro Health, in its effort to serve that community, we are seeking to diversify and uh, integrate that population as much as possible into the staff and into the medical and nursing staff of the hospital. In that way, we're hoping that we can better uh, communicate with, better relate to, and better serve that diverse community. I think one of the best ways to address stigma is, is for people to really see and witness, bear witness to what can happen with adequate treatment and how someone can transform their life um, into a functioning member of society again. The impact of Metro Health on healthcare is one that really enables patients wherever they come from, wherever they are, whatever their walk of life, to have access to health care. Being able to come to a facility without worry about being able to pay, um, their geographic distribution of their outpatient locations, the diversity of services they have with regards to social and, and health services, makes it as one of the true community um, safety net hospitals in America. Metro gives community to all our patients, first of all, with the nurses, the doctors, the behavioral health technicians, and the PCNAs. We're all a community here to support the patients, but the patients themselves form a community and support each other. The hospital was designed in a way to really maximize uh, the space for patients, ensuring that there was adequate space in relation to their rooms, uh, but purposeful space outside of their rooms to really ensure that when you're in a psychiatric hospital that you are actually not spending a lot of time in your room and you're more involved in groups, more involved in engagement with other people, more involved in activities of daily living. I believe Metro Health does treat the whole person and focuses on uh, patient-centered care. So whatever the specific needs of that person is, is what we try to meet, whether it be their medical, their psychological, or their social needs. 
we, we want to make sure that we can meet those because left untreated, those can become barriers and limit their functioning. The future of Metro Health is really centered around uh, ensuring access to services uh, within uh, people's communities, where they want to be seen, how they want to be seen. It's intended to be patient-centered uh, with a population health focus so that we know where the resources are needed and so that we can support them. Mm -hmm.